I don't love baseball cards. Got them, got them, need them, got them, got them, got them, need them, got them, need them, need them, got them, need them, got them, got them, need them. Welcome to another episode of Remember the Great Sports Card Show Pickups video. Uh, this is for November 2022, and uh, I just went to a pretty big card show. Uh, this is uh, the first time I ever went to this card show, and it was well worth it. I bought items ranging from $0.10 cents all the way up to $20, and I felt that all these deals were an awesome deal. So I'm just going to jump right into these, and I guess we'll go with the cheapest stuff first. Uh, this is not by far a Jim Mint anything um, uh, graded card slab, but these are two Barry Larkin rookie cards that are kind of oddball. This one's slabbed, of course, and you see the $4 price tag on it. I actually got both of these for half price. So I paid $2 for that slab. And yes, it's a it's a six, I get that, but it was $2. Uh, also this um, oddball classic games Barry Larkin card was also a buck fifty. And to round out the deal, the seller actually threw in a 1990 score Cardinals team set as well. Nothing great there, but it was free. So we'll move on to the next one. All right, so this next item, uh, I got these. I just thought these were cool because these take you back to the Stadium Club master photos of back in 1993. And these were only a quarter a piece. So I grabbed both of the Ken Griffey Juniors. And I also grabbed the Davy Garcia Rookie Master Photo. So these do not measure. As a matter of fact, I'll show you. You know, these are just a little bit bigger than a regular size card. These are not the size of the original Master Photos, which were much larger. But, you know, I thought for a quarter a piece, why not? I love my oddball cards. So... Getting into the 10 cent cards, I thought those, I went through a, probably a 3,000 count box of 10 cent cards, and I thought this was more than fair to pick up these for a dime a piece. And some of these are, you know, cheap inserts and a couple, you know, a couple cards for TTMs, and these appear to be 2019 tops. And this is an insert set, perennial all stars. And there's Verlander. I'm just going to go through these really quick. Like I said, these are all a dime a piece. Altuve. This one's got a Roy Holiday in it. Yelich. Baez. Scherzer. Lindor. Al Kaline, even. Vlad Guerrero. Senior. A Rod. And another Verlander. So I just grabbed all those. I thought for a dime a piece, why not? A couple others that I grabbed. Another Vlad Guerrero. I think this might be a Franimal rookie card. A Fran Bear Valdez. Not sure if that's a rookie or not. It might be. But this is a rookie of He Seong Kim of the Padres. And there's a second Padres rookie of Kim. Uh, this one I thought was pretty cool, a Cardinal Goldschmidt Arenado card. Grab this Lenny Wilkins for TTM in. And this is a Oreja rookie card. Uh, let's see, a pretty cool Diamond Kings Roberto Alomar. And a couple Franchise Futures with the Orioles. A couple of the Cubs. And a Matt Libertor, top 100. So... These were all $0.10 cents a piece, so really cheap. And from the same dealer, I picked up some $0.50 cent cards. And these are all in top loaders. And again, it's a mix of guys for TTM and guys just to collect, you know, just for the fun of it. I picked up a 91 Fleer All-Star insert of Griffey. I've always enjoyed that set, so I grabbed that. Grabbed Spurs coach Greg Popovich for $0.50. Cents. This is a acetate, uh, acetate, however you say that, card of Rod Smith and Quentin Portis. And Smith is a great signer TTM, so I thought I'd you know, throw that in the mail, maybe get him to sign that. 
Let's see, we got a Pete Maravich insert from Optic. Here's a pretty cool Jason Tatum refractor rainbow out of, out of Prism. I don't even know what to call that. Another Jason Tatum. Another Jason Tatum. Another Jason Tatum. An Isaiah Roby rookie card. And another Isaiah Roby rookie card. So those were 50 cents a piece. All these in the saw sleeves were only a dime a piece. So I spent, you know, five, six bucks at the table or, you know, maybe ten bucks. I don't remember. And uh, walked away with that. So we'll move on to the next pile of stuff. All right, so the next table, I actually purchased uh, some prospects. And this is for some in-person autographing and such like that. But I bought a whole stack of Bowman Prospect and Bowman Draft and even some uh, Topps Heritage Miners in this whole stack right here. And this stack cost me around 25 bucks for the whole stack. But I'm just going to leaf through these really super fast because I could spend 40 minutes just showing you this stack. So I'm just going to go through these really quick and kind of flip through them. And I kind of put them by player a little bit, but they are kind of mixed. And again, these are all people that I think I might see in person with the minor league season. And as I said, this, this is, you know, just a big, big stack of stuff. You know, no, no no rhyme to reason, just teams that I thought I might see, you know, to get some autographs in the future. You know, some of these are first, first Bowmans and others are not. You know, here's a Cal Rowley out of the stack. He's probably the most notable rookie out of there because he's a major leaguer, not a rookie. So I grabbed that for cheap. So, you know, I was quite happy with that. With that stack of cards. All right, so now I'm going to get into the part of the video where I show off the autographs that I picked up, and these were a pretty nice stack of autographs. I'm not going to lie. So the first one was from one dealer, and I've never gotten this person's autograph before. And this is on a 2021 Topps tribute, and that is former White Sox pitcher Mark Burley. And Mark Burley, you know, had a pretty very solid career. You know, for the White Sox, part of the World Series championship team that won that year, and I thought $5 was more than fair enough to get an autograph from Mark Burley. So I went to another vendor that had a lot of vintage things, you know, just oddball stuff from programs to cards to whatever. And in his display case, I noticed this hidden gem, and this is... A tops around 2002 this is yeah this is a tops 2002 I want to say archives or something like that Louis Aparicio autograph and only ten dollars it had a ten dollar price tag on there and it's encapsulated with the with the tops you know uh, seal there and that and the seller only wanted ten dollars for Louis Aparicio and I said I'm not going to argue about that. That's a deal for Louis Aparicio. And then I got to talking to the seller and I said, you know what, you got any more you know, cards in that price range that you know, you're looking to unload? He's like, yeah, I actually do. He's like, uh, they're not all certified like that, but I, I do have one cert here, but I also have a couple other guys that you might be interested in. And I said, okay, we'll pull them out. All right, so the other certified autograph was this guy. Hall of Famer and current Dallas Mavericks coach Jason Kidd on a Topps Finest autograph. Well, that's not Finest, excuse me, but a Topps autograph from his playing days. So he threw that down, and then he handed me a stack of five other cards. And I said, well, let me see them. And he's like, I don't know the origin of these. You know, I think they're real, but, you know, it's kind of at your own risk. And I said, well, let, let's see what you got. Tommy Lasorda. On an 81 Fleer. The late Maury Wills on the 87 Tops Turn Back the Clock. Earl Weaver on the Pacific Legends card. Show them all to you here. Hall of Famer Bob Lemon on a 53 Archives. And the only other last one was another 53 Archives signed by Lou Burdett. 
So I had all these out. He, he pulled them out, and I said, well, you know what? What do you want for all of them? Because you know, I'm thinking if he only wanted $10 for Aparicio, you know, these non-certified ones got to be a heck of a deal. He's like, well, how about $40 for all of them? And I stood there and I thought about it and I said, that's a deal. I said, you got to deal with 40 bucks. So I got Aparicio on a cert, Jason Kidd on a cert, and these other five all for $40. And I thought that was more than fair of a deal. So tell me what you think in the comments below. All right, so my final purchase was actually my first purchase of the day. And I'm going to ask you to join me for another episode so we can go through this together to see if I have any hidden gems in there. And I bought this along with a few other things. And this is a completely, this is a storage box, I guess you would call it. And I did shove some other things in there, but it opens up like so. Almost knocked my lamp over. That would have been bad. Let me zoom out here. And inside there are a stack of about, I don't know, 50 or so nine pocket pages. So this was all from the same seller. So I bundled this all together. And... These Jack Young Buds are for some TTM fuel, so we'll take them out. But these uh, Tops uh, Upper Deck Power Deck cards, if you remember these, they had a whole stack of those in there. And there is one, I'll just show them to you all real quick here. There's a Derek Jeter, a Tony Gwynn, Mo Vaughn, Jose Canseco. Barry Bonds, another Jeter, another Jeter, Chipper Jones, another Jose Canseco, Pudge Rodriguez, Kyle Ripken Jr., Roger Clemens, and unfortunately the Jeff Bagwell, I didn't know this, actually is broken. I didn't realize it was broken until I got home. Either I broke it or... You know, it was broken when I threw it in there, but Jeff Bagwell, but it's damaged. So, we got all these, along with Baseball Aces, which I've talked about in my video before. And I also got these 91 uh, classic board game, you know, travel things. And I don't know if there's any notable people in them, so we'll go through those really quick. Let's see if there's anybody... Worth a darn in here. Got a few rookies, but nobody too notable. Now there's Nolan Ryan. Wade Boggs. Moises Alou rookie. That's a pretty good one. George Brett. Burnett's rookie card. Todd Van Poppel and Kevin Moss. Wow. Two of the biggest names of the night. I mean, imagine how big these would have been back in 1991 if you had these. Wow. Ron Gant. Oh, Mike Mussina rookie. So there you go. So a Mike Mussina oddball rookie. A Mo Vaughn oddball. Frank Thomas second year. So we got Strawberry and Gooden. Yeah, so not, not a bad little pack there. We'll open this one, see if there's any surprises in this one, other than Nolan Ryan and Mike Stanley there. All right, so I'm ripping the plastic off of this one. Well, so the bad news is I ripped the plastic off of there. And... Uh, Unfortunately, because of the high gloss on them, they're all stuck together. So I'm not going to be able to show you this set, which is kind of odd because this is the same year, but you can see that they're different, you know, with the, with the printing that they did. So I'm going to have to spend some time to really get to these. Hopefully uh, not all of them are, are ruined, but it's looking like uh, I didn't... <laughs> if I would have known that, I definitely wouldn't have bought these. 
you know in other words these are these are going to take some work to get apart and i'm not going to i'm not patient enough to do that in this video so um with that said very happy with the purchase but on top of everything that i just showed you i also got a stack of wmba cards so this again not my favorite set with this fleer ultra set because they're kind of dark you know this one's a pretty good one but you know these are not great for signing you know because of the dark backgrounds but i also got the hoops version you know there's cheryl swoops in there and you know so i got all of this including the brick i guess you would call it all of this for 35 dollars so this this container with the nine pocket sheets i kind of looked at briefly I uh, did not go through all of them. He said, give me 20 bucks for the whole thing. You can have it. And I said, deal. So for $35, I got all of this. That includes all the Power Deck cards, all the WNBA cards. And unfortunately, this 91 Classic set, I don't think is going to make it. That's going to have to be garbage. But uh, I ask you to join me for the next episode. And I'll uh, open, I'll go through this and see if we have any hidden treasures in there. So definitely take out, check out part two. And uh, Jeff Bagwell just fell apart on me there. But uh, definitely check out part two of this video and we'll go through that. Um, I want to thank you for taking the time. You know, I hope you enjoyed the autographs that I picked up. I hope you enjoyed all these other cards as well. You know, the cheap dime and 50 centers. I also hope that you enjoyed the cheap Bowman prospects that I picked up as well, as well as the Cal Rowley rookie card. So, with that being said, along with the Barry Larkin graded cards and the master photos, I want to thank you for taking the time to watch. Definitely turn in for episode part two, where I go through this box and see if there's any hidden gems in it. Thanks for watching, and happy collecting.